the pyro here just resting close to the pump you know this this actually looks good this could this could be an wallpaper or something like that I, I like the looks of that pretty nice pretty nice yeah I'm going to just push here because the scouts gonna cap it anyway okay I actually prefer the layout of Sunshine a lot more than the regular you know the, the stock version of this map I think those ah, come on Apple with the directive there I think those new entryways really improve the gameplay on this map you know those below the the main platform where you access the last point so this is a great map I, I really like Sunshine as a 5cp map but I think Sunshine, this one here has the better layout which is mostly the same with just one or two new openings but they really do make a difference in my opinion so yeah let's see if we can get there I want to explode that pumpkin beforehand because I don't want to get hit by it and that engineer is our problem there you see because he's rocking the Wrangler we can't really do much against him okay the spy hits a backstab there I hope it was in the on the engineer and I, I'm dead here <laughs> hey hello there Petra glad to have you here as well pretty nice okay where is everyone now check chat in just a sec fellas just let me get my bearings here we have a, a sentry there and a, <laughs> a press beast heavy which essentially is a level 4 sentry or at least a level two and a half sentry, I think, because a heavy can shoot rockets. So yeah. Hey, hello there, Alison. Glad to have you here, Alison. Come play with us. Join the server if you can. Oh, it's it's full already. So yeah, but but perhaps you could queue to join. Very very nice actually to see the server full. You know, pretty cool. We have a bunch of people from Europe here as well. I'm, I'm very glad there's Misa there. I can see. Pretty nice. I'm very good. I'm very glad you fellas are, are enjoying my servers. I really like seeing them being used like that and you know being useful for you. So that's nice. I Mr. Dispenser connected it seems he disconnected for whatever reason. But since he has reserved slots he can always connect whenever he wants. And saying that I ha I remember I have to set up the reserved slots for Misa. I didn't forget that Misa, okay? It's just that it's been a, a full week for me, but uh, I, I'm, I have that in my to-do list. Don't worry about it, my friend. So yeah. And you say you there. Well, that source to make a situation sucks. Valve really can get away with not finished products that crash or bug out every few, few minutes. Yeah, you know. The, I think the problem is that it really isn't a finished product. It's still in beta, and therefore it has all sorts of bugs and problems. And that's really a shame because Sorcerer Maker had the potential to be something great. You know, it is a, a good software package, but it could be better. And when I saw those tickets, it was already too late. That's when I, I actually wanted Nian that Valve for, you know, if they are not going to work on Sorcerer Maker for Source 1 anymore, then perhaps they should release the source code, you know, make it open source so people can fork it and fix all the issues. I would actually like them to do that with Hammer as well. Hammer is the the program that's used to make TF2 maps and it is it is okay to use, you know, it works, but it could be improved a lot and since it is for Source 1, I don't think Valve would be developing it much more, you know, since they are all into Source 2 nowadays and into making tools for their new engine which makes sense you know if you have a new engine you want to work with it but if they could like release the source code for those programs I imagine a lot of people who depend on it like source maker artists you know all those folks they they would take upon themselves to make this software better like that so I can hope you know Valve, Valve has been very supportive of open source projects Proton for example is an open source project it was initially uh, a Valve version of Wine that's also a, a Linux 
compatibility software, your Orleans compatibility layer, they actually they took Wine and made their own version, that's Proton, and then they open sourced it and released for everyone to to be able to mod and make their own version and stuff like that. So they, they could do that with their other software packages as well, that would be nice. But perhaps that was the case with Proton, because Wine, if I'm not mistaken, Wine is GPL software. You know, it's licensed by, licensed by the GNU public license which is a, a license that kind of says, you know, if you use any part of this software, then your software has to be GPL, GPL as well. And GPL software has to be open source. It is one of the obligations in that specific license. So perhaps that's why Proton was made open source, you know, because Valve had no choice <laughs> but do that, because they were using Wine as a base which is also open source software. Okay, I don't want that dispenser there from Apple. And I want to take out this teleporter as well because it could be problematic. And I've killed myself there, okay. <laughs> but at least I was able to take out the dispenser and the teleporter there. At least I did something. <laughs> and we have Mr. Dispenser on our team now. Pretty nice. Pretty nice to have the engineer of TF2 with us helping us out. Okay, I'm gonna die here. Let's, oh, I managed to destroy the, the sentry there. Let's see if I can get that engineer. And no, I could not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no problem. At least I'm carrying the, my, weight, my weight, I think. I have more deaths than kills, but I'm not I'm not the, the last one on score. So that's that's something there. That's a bit better. Ah, and Big Sad is saying that, that he got kicked. Ah, that's, that's lame, Big Sad. Yeah, well, that's how the reserved slots uh, system works. We have an extra slot on the server, so it shows on the browser as a 24 slot server. But it actually has 25 slots, and the 25th slot is reserved to handle connections. So whenever a, a, a VIP or which is, you know, mostly other YouTuber friends I have, or a, a channel supporter, a channel member in the, I think, officer tier, because we have tiers in our memberships here on YouTube. And one of them, I think the middle one, gives you access to reserved slots. So when a VIP or a, a channel member connects into the server like that, the 25th slot holds the connection and kicks someone out so that, you know, the reserved slot can connect into the into the server. So I'm sorry you got kicked there, Big Sad. That's something that wasn't happening here, you know, for quite some weeks. And it's a, a sign that the channel is getting popular, you know, that people want to join and connect and play with us. And I'm, I'm sad you got kicked, but I'm actually happy people are connecting to play with us and filling up the server. So that's, that's pretty nice. I, I'm enjoying that a lot. You know, queue up so you can connect again. You should be able to do so if someone disconnects. Right now, for example, we have one empty empty slot here that perhaps you could try joining. So that's that's kind of a bummer, but you know, it's how it goes. In my Brazilian channel, usually that's how it happens, you know. Because I, I have, what, almost 30,000 subscribers there. And a lot of people come play with me on, on my streams. And that happens a lot, you know, that the server gets full and people get disconnected because VIPs are connecting. And in, in my Brazilian channel, I have a bunch of supporters. I have, I think I have about 30 channel members slash supporters there that help me pay out the, the server costs and that sort of stuff. So that's very neat. Yeah, and I was the highest kill streak there. Probably because I'm the only one rocking a, a full kill streak kit, you know, on all my weapons. So I, I'm not sure, but I was the highest kill streak there. Pretty nice, you know, not doing very well, but considering I have 200 ping, I think I'll take that as a compliment, for sure.